All right, welcome back with Eldrazi Stompy. Sure, I'd love to play first. So the whole point of this deck is to do something unfair turn one. This deck's unfair turn one is I get a scry, turn two, dismember, turn three, smasher. Is opt. Is opt, fatal push, smasher, an unfair open? No. It is not. Okay, but this is just a bad hand with no serum powder. Haven't really been seeing them. Um, I think I have to keep this. I don't really want to go too far here. If I had scryed top, I obviously would have played a different land. No, thank you. I am happy with the lands that I have. Eldrazi Temple is the only land I would have topped there because that lets me cast Mattery Shaper next turn. Perfect. Looks like our opponent's on Jund. And Mattery Shaper is great against Jund. Best possible top deck here is Thought Not Seer. Looks like your opponent's playing Goif. That's interesting. Did not expect a block there. They probably have more goists in their hand, or they're afraid of me aggroing them out. Their Inquisition is going to whiff, because I have nothing in my hand except for lands. Yep, there's a the second goif. Thought Nuts here will clear a removal spell. Hmm. They Liliana Edict, right? I will lose Mattery Shaper and get a free draw. The Liliana Plus, I lose a land I don't really care about. But all the Planeswalker in play, that is a little scary and a decent body to protect it. I also don't want Tarmogoyf to grow. So I think I just need to take the Liliana so Tarmogoyf never gets larger. Normally I just discard the serum powder, but against Tarmogoyf, I think it's better just to discard the land. Okay, opponent point plays a forest. They can thought seize a serum powder, sure. Thought 
I'll make Tarmogoyf larger. I can um, scavenger grounds to get rid of him. Make him shrink down a little bit in size. We now know our entire opponent's hand, which is Overgrown Tomb. So, one, two, three, four, five. I can cast Smasher Swing in. Worst case scenario, my opponent double blocks, losing Goyf and or Scoos. Best case scenario, they just take the damage, I think. So my plays are here. I can sacrifice the Scavenger Ground, try to do a combat trick, killing Goyf, and crush in. I can also hit in with Smuggler's Copter. Or I can do what I think is the correct play, not get too cute, and just play your giant 5-5 five, five Trample. There's currently one, okay, there's one creature in the graveyard, so if I had attacked, I think they would have double blocked. I would have killed the Scoos, let the Goyf live. Following turn, I would have exiled all graveyards, shrinking down Goyf, making them start over, and being able to swing in with seven power. I think that would have won unless my opponent drew something really good like a Blood Braid Elf. So grindy cards, all his dust is a neat board wipe. Um, Sorcerer Spyglass can shut down the Liana. Ratchet Bomb is actually potentially really good in this matchup. Uh, Relic of Progenitus also is interesting here. Uh, Endbringer is also really grindy. You can tell it's a, a Mike Goldenberg deck if there's probably one too many grindy cards in the sideboard. I'm not a fan of Smuggler's Copter here. I don't think it does enough. Um, I'm not sure how many sorcery spells I would like to get rid of. Mimic might be too cute, but it does die to Bolt. My only real threat that doesn't do well against Bolt. Because Mattery Shaper and Scourge do die to Bolt, but not really. Let's see here. Dismember's decent. So if I bring in Relics, it would be difficult with Chalice. Chalice on one stops Thoughtseize, Bolt. It does stop a good number of cards, so I do think I want it. They do have Culligan's Command, which can blow me out. That is something I have to consider. I just think Warping Whale is bad. So I will trim a couple of Chalices. I got like two relics So me and Spiric Adam trimming because with all uh, their discard spells, a card that is just a tempo play might not be as powerful. I'm relatively new to this deck, so I could be sideboarding wrong, but the way I'm approaching this matchup is I want to be able to string together uh, on turns 2, 3, and 4 some very powerful threats that are hard for them to answer and just play around Damnation. So, I do have a turn one thought knot with a gemstone cavern into a. That's one, two. Oh, no, nope, no, nope, one short. I think I actually want to serum powder this. This hand seems really good against Jund. I think I just keep this. It's got plenty of lands, uh, it's got a removal spell, and Mattery Shaper is basically the colorless, colorless Lingering Souls. Sure. If they drop a Dark Confidant, I will dismember it. Uh, 
sure. I mean... That slows me down a little bit, but I don't think that's particularly terrible for me. Probably should have played the Void this turn. I was just auto on auto mode playing a Mutavault, trying to get it down as quickly as possible. So Temple is just another land here, but because of the Damping Sphere, interestingly enough, which I don't think is very good against me, two, three, four, five, I do want, I do want another land there. So next turn I will dismember the Dark Confidant if they drop one, otherwise I'll be satisfied with the Scoos. Nope, Blip's better. I will trade here if they offer it. Sure. Why does it cost two? Oh, it's my second spell this turn. Okay. Forgetting what the second part of Damping Sphere. Didn't really do anything there. Opponent's on their fifth turn and they've played three lands. They're not in a great spot. Meanwhile, I'm about to swing for 11. I think this game is pretty much over. Next turn, I get to untap and either play a land and Endbringer or Phyrexian Metamorph for another Smasher. I think my opponent made a big mistake in bringing in the Damping Spheres against this deck. It shut, maybe they thought I was Eldrazi Tron. Maybe a lot better there. But here, it's just... All it does is stop four temples, and if you're bringing in two or three Damping Spheres to stop four temples, you're better off just bringing in Assassin's Trophies, which are way less narrow, um, or even Ghost Quarters, which don't hurt you as much because they don't take an entire turn off of your game plan. So anyway, beat down the mid-range deck as a aggro tempo build. I'll see you in the next one.